viewers. <sighs> Welcome back to Cold Fear. So, yeah. Um. I was going to try and zoom in on that number 8 on your head, but I realized I can't actually do that. So we're going to do that first. And we're going to do that. Oh, you got a diary page. And some shotgun shells. Okay, well, let's have a look. Okay, right. Antidote for Anna. Anyhow. Certain specimens have manifested a form of asymmetrical development. In these cases, the exocell produced mutations that were particularly resilient, powerful, and aggressive. Their skins grow so thick and resistant, they become impervious to the hardest blows and even to gunfire. However, certain body- and this part's highlighted viewers, so let's pay a close attention. Certain body parts of individuals who have undergone this type of mutation continue to react normally to wounds. This mostly concerns the upper limbs, which become particularly developed. Repeated blows to these body parts were shown to be fatal. In addition, these specimens react strangely to bait spears. They become hysterical and seek to destroy them at all costs. Okay. So, who wants to we're going to have to fight one of those soon? Great! It's locked! Uh... So... Do I just... Turn around again, I guess? Look over here. How about this? Is that let me go with this now? Hey, there we go. Wait, have I already been out this? Okay, so that's one wave at the far end. Wave closer here. That's it? Okay, well... Physics viewers. Ugh. Oh man, this is this is gonna suck. Where's my AK? Oh man, this has boss arena written all over it. Let's get some help. The damn thing's stuck. Okay, how about some water? So I can't have water. Nothing? Well, I can hear something gooey. And there's definitely no med kits around here, so... Oh, hey. Never mind. There we go. Quick, let's quick save. Oh, wait, we can't save at all. Take those stairs, dainty. So we have a new enemy type coming up now, so that'll be something. Like, oh man, there's so many explosive barrels. No, you're not infected. Just dead. Ammo for the AK. Yay, can I cross this stuff? The damn thing's stuck. Well, I hear f fighting music. That's going to be an issue later on, I assume. Let's drop down. Yep. Now, are you actually going to die or just burn for a while? No, you're dead. Oh, this is getting. Went from bad to worse. You know, half a body. What do you have? AK bullets. See, that's a good musical sting. They need more of that. The other half of them, I assume, got eaten by that thing. Oh, well, you're mostly a skull, so. Nothing happened on that TV? Oh, tough TV. No, really? Again? 
Again? Again. So now you're infected again. Honestly, Hanson, I don't even have a word. The damn thing's stuck. stuck. Yeah, of course it is. Oh, you're one of those things. Can I burn you with fire? I didn't actually kill you yet, so... Uh, you're gonna try and shoot me? Ah, nope. Okay, now you're actually dead for really reals. Now, is there another one of you things? Yes. Okay. So let's get over here and burn you a bit. I actually want to waste my flamethrower ammo on that, so... Okay, I think you're also really dead. There's, there's no terror here. There's no fear. Just... Okay, well, the creepy voices are a little disconcerting, I admit. Let's get something with a flashlight. Where's that MP? There we go. Are you telling me I fell down here just so I could be infected again? Whoa. See, now that's kind of cool. It's breathing. Is that its spine? Are you going to kill me? What if I shoot you? No, you're just... A Okay, admittedly, it'd be interesting if it interacted with you at all, but... That's one of the really cool things I've seen in this game. That's neat. And back to being boring again. Why are you trying to get in there so hard? If I shoot that... Hmm. Oh. I'm gonna regret that later. Or possibly immediately. I like you can just take these like they're stairs. This incline of goo. Oh, that's just texture mapped. What? Oh, you burnt the ammo really fast. See, this is what this actually reminds me a lot of Run Like Hell now, which was for the PS2. If you haven't played it, I recommend it, because you can probably get it for a pretty good deal right about now. Again, this would be great if I had a map. Okay, so underwater elevator um, could be promising. Great, it's, it's locked. locked. Okay, well, that makes this easier then. Let's not take the underwater elevator. Uh, hang on, burn something. Should not drop any more of those things? No, okay, we're good. You're a really kind of odd, dark texture. Great, it's, it's locked. locked. Should have guessed from the keypad. It's almost too bad I can't read Russian. Interaction, what we got? Pistol ammo. And health back. That was actually kind of necessary. 
Hey, you guys have heads? Hey, buddy, you got a head? Ah, there we go. It's okay, I shot your head now. Now you're safe. More juice for the flamethrower. Oh my god. They should have come out in the 80s. He would have done fine alongside Arnold. Should have done that. I can't loot their bodies. Because they're on fuel. Actually, I want them to fire. That's okay then. Randomly interacting with stuff. Hopefully, there's a keypad here. Oh, a memo to Yusupov. <laughs> yeah, find the antidote for Anna. How about you find the antidote for me? To Colonel Dmitry Yusupov. Platform readiness. All drilling operations have ceased. The laboratory facility is now operational. I've been equipped. According to Dr. Kamsky's instructions, confinement cells, decontamination chambers, scanners, and scanning electron microscopes. The first specimens are onboard in the 20 scientists I have recruited at your request will be here on Thursday. Activate the XCOM project. Sorry. Anashenko has enabled the communication jamming system, and all drilling crew members have been evacuated. Those aware of the presence of the exocells have been dealt with separately, in quotations. You know, not that we're implying we killed them. Work can now get underway. Uh, anything else around here? Interaction? A lot of blood on the wall? Nope. Okay, hey, dartboard! Sweet! And kind of suck in rolling weather, but... Hey, darts! Everyone loves darts. Even Exocell infected mutants. Nope, and... No. Okay, I guess we're going in here. I guess we can always go up the stairs, too, but... Oh. Uh. Whoa, what the? Okay, I haven't actually shot your head yet. Oh, I did shoot your head somehow. Okay, that's cool. You're probably getting up right about now. Okay, go back down. Oh, you're one of those spitty things. Yeah, I hear ya. Oh, jeez. Oh. That Neat. Anyhow, burn. Oh, I got one of those things on me. Can I burn you? Oh, I can totally burn you. Awesome. Try that again. I think that'll do it. <laughs> Quick, grenade it! Yeah, that thing's done for sure. Alright. So, now that creepy, ominous music is still going on. I don't think I find something of use here. This could be just kind of a pain. No, can't go in there. Nothing of use in there. Nothing in there. And your dead body, of course, has vanished. The damn thing's stuck. Okay, I didn't know I could go through grades, but there you go. So, this was just... Apparently a huge waste of time. Awesome. Well, props to you game designers for making me waste ammunition and health for no reason. Well played. Well played. More stairs. Okay. We're back up on the first floor before we fell down to this. I can't tell if you have a head or not. You definitely have a head. You don't. Nothing. Yeah, just check his groin there. No bullets in his groin, unfortunately. And for the AK. That might explode later on. I'm not taking any chances on you or you. 
You're in half, but what the hell. A submachine gun clip, he said excitedly. And a lot of nothing on the rest of you. Like you're missing your... Ah, you son of a... This is why I need to be more thorough about shooting it. See, I'm justified. I am absolutely ju Well, Hansen is. Hansen's nuts. He'll shoot everything in the head. Well, at least this isn't locked. Oh, boy. Need a different gun. Just keep swinging, swinging. I went for the AK. This must be the kitchen. Check his groin, Hanson. God damn it. Oh, that looks dangerous. That looks like another pit I don't want to fall into. Let's go into the cold room. I'd make some kind of either a hanging from the ceiling joke or some kind of twirly joke, but I got nothing. This game has sat my will to pun as well as my will to live. Report about contamination. This should be good. Oh, this is a long Oh my god. Oh my god. I hope you're in for the long haul here, viewers. Okay. One of the reasons the exo cells may have previously escaped detection is that they demonstrate an occasional ability to blend in with their environment. In at least one test subject, I-4-02, we have managed to amplify this phenomenon after blocking the contamination process and extracting the exocell. The subject quite literally became invisible, whereas infrared enhancing viewing clearly confirmed its presence. Otherwise, only a faint ripple or disturbance could be seen when it moved. Hmm. I wonder if we'll have to fight something invisible soon. What fantastic uses could be made of this? We can make invisible monsters! Exocell behavior is quite simplistic. The extremity of their tendril is lined with millimetric fangs that sink into the victim's skin. The exocell uses them to pump the victim's blood, thereby weakening him. This renders the victim vulnerable to contamination, since exocells are only able to infest a host that is either weak or unconscious or named Hansen. Afterward, they enter the body through the mouth. Ugh. In some cases, they have been observed infesting dead bodies, though this activity seems to be limited to corpses that have not suffered significant structural damage or undergone extensive decomposition. Contaminated human hosts, alive or dead, are immediately driven by the exocell's urges to seek and destroy warm-blooded life. This serves two purposes. It feeds the exocell's hosts, who frequently engage in acts of cannibalism, and provides new potential hosts for other exocells. The mutations induced in their hosts require tremendous amounts of protein, means that the hosts are constantly seeking fresh prey. So really, these things can starve themselves to death, unlike, say, actual zombies. The secondary phase of exocell life, which we now call the tumorous phase, in which the exocells become breeders, is extraordinarily difficult to destroy, even though condemned to immobility, so it's the things on the walls. Only fire can kill them. The breeder produces contaminators at a still undetermined rate. The link between the contaminators and their breeders remains a mystery, although it seems the contaminator will fight to death to protect its parent. Well, they fight to the death anyhow, so that doesn't really matter. Okay, so what else we got here? Anything? You got anything on you? Anything on you? Hanging body? Nope. Cool. Oh, just, you know, chill. I'm sorry, viewers. I'll just let these guys hang out. Oh, God, I'm sorry, viewers. Medkit? Ah, finally, a room worth going into. I have a feeling I'm going to end up jumping down that very obvious trap. And more juice for the flamethrower. Let off some steam in it. Alright, well. I hope you get infected again. That'd be fantastic. Okay, that just leads us back here again. That very awesome but creepy as hell thing. Okay, so... 
You know, I'd begun to wonder if maybe I was in some kind of time limit after being infected that I'd really have to hurry or, you know, risk Hansen just turning into an exocell mutant, and I realized, no, no, that's hoping for too much. Okay, so that just leads... Um... Huh. Well, this is the underwater elevator, isn't it? No. I must have missed this the first time through. Anything in there? Can I shoot the lock off? Nope, that is effectively bulletproof. Duly noted. Ooh, charts. I love charts. Great. A door with no handle. Oh. Quick. Someone call the Resident Evil crew. They know how to handle this. They'll just make one. Or find one. Or... Hey, buddy. Oops. Sorry, buddy. I wasn't going to search you, but now I don't think I will. <laughs> oh, finally this game has a sense of humor. Or, I mean, I'm also a terrible person for thinking that, but... Yeah, you're a bad guy. You're not. You are. That actor seems to have suffered since I got off the rocking ship for some reason. Nothing, nothing. I'm assuming you're dead because you're just a skeletal arm. Nothing for me. Boom, headshot. Nothing. Oh god, come on, game. <laughs> that will never get old. Okay, that's gotten old. Was there some interaction there for a second? Was there a chance I could actually do something? No. Nope. Silly me. Cast the door with no handle. Out into this sparky hell. Can actually get there. Underwater elevator is locked. I've been in all of those already. Hang on. Okay, yeah, you're still red, but. Great! It's locked! Well, let's give these rooms another go around. What are you looking at when you do that, Hanson? There's nothing over here. So I thought maybe there'd be a passcode there, but... Nothing. I'm just keeping an eye on the interaction bar there. Or rather, word. Hoping I'll actually get to interact with something. Nope. Nope. Maybe in the trash bin? Nope. Maybe on the desk? Maybe desk? Nope. Maybe on the wall? I already checked this, but... No, let's keep walking into stuff. Who loves backtracking? I do! The damn thing's stuck. Hmm. I don't know if I'm missing something then. What if I turn off the water? Maybe that's the key. No, it can't interact with it. Can I shoot the door open? Boom. Nope. Okay, well. Back up the stairs we go. Yeah, I missed another door somewhere. Nope, I don't think I did, unless I can go through here. Oh. 
Well, that would have been helpful. The damn thing's stuck. Oh, good. There's another door, and I still can't go through it. Well, that was a waste of health back, but whatever. Don't want to really fall down there again. But I'm beginning to think I may have no choice and that I've missed something somewhere. Maybe if I get lucky when Hanson goes down this time, he'll break his neck. I'm not that lucky. Okay, let's... We know that just leads to the creepy goo room. So, let's have another look through here and make sure I didn't miss anything. You've been searched, you've been searched, you've been searched. You spat out a contaminator and pissed me off, but you've also been searched all the same. Thank you, Camera Angle, for making this even more awkward than it needs to be. You've all been searched. Because, that's why. We need something to liven things up a bit, so explosions! Right, Hanson? You love explosions. Who doesn't love explosions? Okay, let's go here then. Maybe there's another switch I can press to move up or down floors? Aha! I'm just an idiot. At least I was thorough. Oh, this looks totally safe and awesome. Really? you in the head. Well, I guess that was the invisible monster. That little anticlimactic. Okay. That must be the big thing they were talking about. Yeah, that's gonna suck. No, Hanson, that's a terrible idea. We're not going to press that button. I really shouldn't press that button. That's just a stupid idea. I'm going to go this way. Maybe I'll just press it once. Just once, viewers. It's only a button. Just make sure we reload all my weapons first on the off chance something bad happens. It's a button. Oh. That wasn't what I expected at all. Maybe I shouldn't have pressed that button. Oh, man. Well, well, that was the least exciting button I've ever pressed. At least in cold fear. How do they build all this on the ocean? Like, just getting parts here would take forever. I mean, yeah, cland you know, clandestine multi-billion dollar evil terrorist group and stuff, but still. Serious money. Let's play with the shotgun for a bit. 
I was guess I'm terrible at headshots. Boom. Boom. That's what happens. That little box stuck in the wall. How are you? Oh, more shotgun shells. I am fully loaded. Hmm, more water. Water and webs. Ah, and a computer monitor. I still haven't gotten a chance to save yet. Ooh. Experimental chamber. This practically demands a page about experiments. Oh, well, we made progress, at least. Kamsky's lab. We have observed that electrical discharges have no effect on the exocell's neuronal network. However, once the exocell is taking control of a body, both the exocell and its hosts are vulnerable to any source of electricity. In fact, prolonged exposure to a strong electrical charge results in death. As a precaution, we have electrified the floors in the experimental chamber. The system is only to use in the case of an extreme emergency. Really? Access denied. Damn. Uh. Okay. Uh, well, I admire your ability to reload up. There, oh, there's glass. That's why. Can't shoot through it. Creepy music's back. That's always promising. Also, partially tiled floor. Lazy. Oh. Damn. Hey, buddy. Come on. Give me a headshot. Thank you. You're dead. You're also dead. I'm pretty beating over there. Shotgun shells I don't need. Hmm. Okay, maybe I will need the shotgun shells then. Like a med kit I don't want to use. Oh, I'm going to end up coming back through here. I just know it. This is a health kit. A save point would be nice. Okay, that looks like an antidote. <sighs> Gee, I wonder if you're all going to come to life and attack me. Also, a nice shadow. Oh, page from Dr. Kamsky's diary. I can't help thinking that these creatures have great potential. If we could learn how to reproduce and harness the way they alter their hosts, the results could be decisive. Yosopov wants me to create beasts, things that can be used to kill. He fails to see how we could use the exocells to improve life. Nevertheless, he has Anna, and thus I am forced to obey, at least for now. I've been merging exocells with subjects. Yosopov has forced me to use humans lately and then trying to guide the mutations that result. I've made some monsters for you, Sopov. Let us see what I can make for myself. Well, with great power comes great insanity, and he's well on his way. In fact, I'd probably wager money he's that big gooey thing that uh, saved Anna. How bad is your aim? Are you just invulnerable? No, just terrible. What? Really? No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. Aw. Oh. Lame. Okay, well, once everything goes to crazy, I'm going to use this spear gun and pull them all away, because that's what's going to happen. Wait for it. even kill you, did it? 
worst grenade launcher ever. I don't even know what those are. Anyhow. Well, I don't think this is a bad place to end it, actually. So we have the antidote. But I guess we only have one antidote, and both Hansen and Anna are affected now, because Hansen is terrible at everything. So we'll save this, and we'll see you next time on... Hey, Cold Fear isn't over yet. See you then.